announcement, patients with broken wind arriving. Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode. So uh, we have a quick look at what we've got to do here, so we'll get rid of that straight away. We'll slow the speed right down, and we'll have a bit of a better look at what we've got. So, um, so we're going to have to, you know, it's always the same, make a bit of money, cure a load of patients, um, and all of that, so that's fine. So the one thing that we will need to probably do this time, which we haven't done before, is consider our layout. So we've got quite a weird set of different rooms here, um, some set off a bit further away from the others, and it might be nice actually to have one of these places just to, you know, have some research or some training going straight away, so I might actually buy that one there, and I'm probably going to live to regret that, but we're going to have this over here. And I'm going to straight away, I'm going to get some training, and actually it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Um, so, yeah, I'm almost definitely going to live to regret that. But anyway, that's, um, so that's a big training room in there. Um, oh, I don't need ten bookcases, I just need one of those each. Um, Thirteen lecture chairs, one of these each, maybe... Three radiators, big room. Okay, fl flip you around, get that in there. Um, I really want to get the bookcase actually in because that's one of the most annoying things. There we go. Ah, I can fit three rows, that's like a lovely classroom. Now, did I get the appropriate number of these? Uh, yeah, I'd probably say that was almost exactly what I wanted. Um, so now I'm not going to put that there, keep the lecturer warm, and I can probably fit this at the back, there we go, so that would be enough to be honest. So I need a consultant, yeah, I probably should have looked straight away, um, well I haven't got any consultants, but I'll hire a, a psychiatric um, doctor, and I'll go on, um, I'll hire a researcher because I'll need you in just a moment, um, another psychiatrist, that's probably not bad idea. Um, we get a few more researchers. Um, oh, no, I did want you. Um, okay, get in there. Um, you're all going to go now and sit down, so that's a little bit annoying, but there we go. So, let's get a nice big... So I don't know why I didn't maybe take up a bit more room on that one, but you, you know what, I'll, I won't make it, I won't make it too big, I'll just make it that size for now, I can always extend it. Um, uh, no, sorry, I'm going to change my mind, I'm going to make it a lot bigger. Because um, I always forget how big that, that um, silly autopsy machine is, it really takes up a hell of a lot of the room. So put that in and it feels like the whole room's almost taken up, but what we'll do is we'll get probably three more of them. Three more of those, um, and later I think we get like the um, the computer, the atom analyzer. Um, so put them all along one wall. Um, so it looks like we're leaving a nice amount of space. You know, get some beautifying of the place. Two radiators in there. That should probably keep everyone warm enough. Research qualifications, so you're a researcher, you're a researcher, you're a psychiatrist, you're a researcher, and you're a psychiatrist. So any more doctors come in? No. Okay. Um, while we're at it, so I just don't forget, I'll just get one staff room in down here. Just a little small one. Especially because when you have the training room, it seems that all they do is they spend half their time half their time kind of wandering back and forth to the to, the, to your staff room to just have a little break and they just never seem to do any work. Um, obviously I'd probably be claiming unfair, um, yeah, unfair words about me if I was one of the doctors here, they work very hard, but you know, I expect a lot out of my staff and uh, a lot I shall get. That's quite pretty, hopefully they can get around everywhere and they can use everything. It's a bit weird those little tool mes messages come up every time and um, 
I don't know whether that's a feature of this version, the Core 6 TH version, rather than the original Theme Hospital. But um, yeah, it does. It's, it's just a little bit annoying. Okay. So now we've got that sorted. What we'll do is we'll get a reception desk straight in here. Um, I'll put you in there. A little bit off center, I know. Um, okay. You're very expensive, but I think you're gonna do me do me a good service. So that's the center. Oh, it was center. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to do that traditional open hospital straight away. Uh, GP's office. I'll take this down. I'll do a five by four, so then I can fit uh, also fit the general diagnosis in there and the psych psychiatry room as well. Um, so there we go. Lovely. It makes such a nicer layout if you just make the room one bigger. I did hear rumours that actually, if you make the um, if you make the rooms bigger, and you have to tell me in the comments below, but if you make the room slightly bigger, then it means the staff get tired slower, or you know they they stay awake longer. I, sh I don't know. I don't know the right way exactly to say that, but um, yeah. So I think maybe it's it's a it's worth a while thing to do, especially if you've got a bit of room, kind of towards the end of the game thinking about, you know, just giving them that little bit extra space to to kind of get around and um, it, it, as I said it makes it a lot easier to, to sort out the rooms as well. Okay, so we've got those two sorted out, so what we'll do um, so we get another, ah, oh, it's a new month. I think when you get a new month, you get some new doctors, so they are an excellent surgeon. Um, and then you always need two surgeons, so it's good to get them when you can. Um, another researcher. Oh, I should tell them what to do as well, I should get them to work. Um, only on that. Just the cures and the diagnosis to start with. Um, that's excellent. Um, you're a consultant surgeon. Okay. Well, what to do with you? Let's put you over here then. And train these little feathers up so they can be psychiatrists and surgeons. And then hopefully I can find someone who's a researcher consultant. Surgery. Um, okay, what else have we got? So, psychiatric. Maybe I'll speed the game up slightly. Um, it's good to kind of give a little bit of pace to it to keep the game going. So I'll put that psychi psychiatric ward in there. down there I think. Put that in. Yes, lovely. Because of the way the the, um, the objects are made, they can only face two different directions. And so what that means is you often end up with all the things along one wall like this, or along one wall like this. It's, I mean it's an old game, you can't really complain. It's a, you know, it's a great game for what it is, but uh, yeah, that was just one thing, you know, if I was the designers today, I'd be like, what the hell are we doing? So I think that's a great space right there for a pharmacy, actually. So I'll leave that and I'll make a very oversized cardiogram so I can fit in um, operating theatre theatre and a ward um, down there. So one of each of these. Um, I haven't had a single patient yet, which is bit worrying because I've got an astronomical number of doctors. Um, I've got no nurses. Um, but let's get a bit of speed. So let me you know, make some doctors and uh, some patients coming in. All over my words today. Uh, so what else? So 
let's get this pharmacy in here, like I said, open it in. Um, and then I'm get cracking nuts. You know what, I'll, I'll do as I do as I say. Do as I preach, as the saying goes. I'll put it a little bit bigger. Um, and one of each of all of these. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Tip. Okay, fires and earth. Amazing handyman there. Um, another pretty good one. I don't know why it both straight away went off that way. Ah, uh, that's where the oldest plants are. Be good bit of water. Good work, guys. Um, okay. Yeah, you thought you could tell me all the, uh, all the advice, but it's advice I've had for quite a while, so. Or at least things I've known for quite a while, so I'm not sure why. Why it happens like that, but you know. So we get a few benches in here. We will get one there, uh, one there. Skip one. Uh, and do a similar thing over here. Okay, and then we'll get in. I need a few more drink machines actually. Um, that one in there. And one more drink machine. Uh, I need a ward, okay. Uh, just wait a little while because that's the next thing I was going to put in. So what we'll do is maybe we'll make that a bit longer. So where's that come up to? That's there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can't remember whether the operating theatre is actually five or a six wide. I Oh, it's a five, because then that means I can fit it on this wall over here. Um, so we'll get a few more beds in here. And I forgot about everything else. Um, let's see, a couple radiators as well. Um, always like to just stack the beds in as close as possible. I think we can get another bed in there. Yeah, it's a good six, six size ward there. Plenty of space for a couple of plants. Yep next to each other. Uh, a couple of radiators down the back wall and there we go. One nurse required for there as well. So off she goes. Wonder if there's another good nurse. You're pretty good. Pricey, but you know you have to pay for the staff, don't you? Operating theatre now. Are you gonna tell me you're a six? Yeah, well that's rather a good uh, because I can't fit you in there either because it won't let me block that area off. So I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put you there. Um, yeah. It's not ideal, but I think that would be okay. Um, okay. So put all this in here. Again, this is where a weird situation where things just don't fit on some of the walls. Um, and I know I said last episode that I was going to go away. I was going to research the best layout for each of them, each of the rooms. But well, I didn't. So sorry about that. Um, this guy is ready to have gallstones taken. So we've got one surgeon going over there. That's good. Um, what's this guy? He's a consultant psychiatrist. Ah, did I just? Maybe I just. To be a consultant, because there aren't that many doctors in there right now. Um, you are excellent. All four of you doing a good bit of a uh, good bit of research. It's good work. Um, research. Oh, where are you off to? Having a break. That's a lazy boat. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to. I might have another surgeon. Let's see. Buy another one. No, no more surgeons available. That's a shame. So what I'll do is I'll come over here. Um, and fortunately, start teaching for a little bit. That poor guy. Heal that poor guy. Oh. Um, another month, so maybe there's another surgeon. Ah. 
Ah, yes, you're brilliant. Excellent. Next one, Dr. Order, so to speak. And then, you're a surgeon. Start working again. Oh, where did I put you? Okay. Can I do this somewhere? Swelling, only be reduced by lancing during the operation required two surgeons. Okay, yeah. Um, psychiatrist must talk the patient out of this made up disease, the sweaty heart. Pain. Right, what can we say? Uh, we want Tom Hack to come along. Yeah, come along, give us a good reputation boost because we are a great, great hospital. So, what else do we need? So, we've got GP, we've got general diagnosis, we've got the cardiogram. Um, so we need a scanner and an x-ray, and we don't have any money. Scanner 12,000, so is extortion price than the x-ray 8,000. We haven't got any of these clinics, so I'm pretty sure all the right people are going to end up needing some, so just hope we can earn a bit more money um, for that part of the sky. Yeah, we're still waiting for a patient.
happened here, I've ended up with two. Sold some psychiatrists. attention, I was spending too much time worrying about training up all those doctors, I think they got a bit overzealous, and uh, yeah, I think th th there was a couple weird bugs going on where people kind of couldn't get through the door and all those things, so as it says, better luck next time, see you next time, thanks very much for watching.